Hey there, today we're going to talk about communication and different communication styles and how to work with those in your marriage. We communicate extremely differently. So differently. <laughs> we're like not even on the same planet, level, planet level, <laughs> um, whatever. So what we mean by this, when we say we communicate differently, we, we both use words, but um, I am generally somebody who sees the world through facts and figures and logic and logical conclusions, progressions of events that make sense to me and everything has a way that it kind of should work. Mm -hmm. And I <laughs> expect to be understood through that lens. Mm -hmm. And Jess, on the other hand. I think in feelings and I process in feelings and I'm a verbal processor. So I'm not going to give just the facts. I'm going to give how I feel about a situation. And then I want, what I want is for him to understand what I mean by what I'm saying. <laughs> and understand the feelings when the situation is presented and such. Right. And so we've spent a lot of time having to work on how to, how to communicate and respect each other in our communication styles. Right. Um, and just what does that what does that look like? <laughs> yeah. So there there have been times where I'll be kind of going off on my feelings and all this stuff and Adam's like, "Well, what's what what's the point? What like what's the <laughs> what's the 2 second version?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, no, I can't get to the 2 second version. I need to process through all of this." And well, so then I think we'd both get frustrated with another, with each other. I'm, I'm sitting there confused because I don't understand the context. Sometimes I don't even understand who we're talking about. We switch people three times. And, <laughs> and the, in my brain, they're all connected. You know, this leads to this, which leads to this, which leads to this, which leads to this. But then he's still stuck over here on number one and doesn't Help know me. how we how we got there. And uh, so we've had to really take a, take time to slow down mm -hmm. and be like, okay, this is how you communicate. This is how I communicate. And there's nothing wrong with no. either one of them. Be, I want to be clear on that. No. But it, it's learning how to work in your in your marriage with the different communication styles. Mm -hmm. And so there are times now where I know that bouncing around is not going to be super helpful for him. <laughs> so I will state my piece about the one thing and then I will kind of take a break and let him kind of process that. And then I'll try to move to the other one. <laughs> and I've also learned to ask, wait a minute, are we still talking about this thing or did we move? Oh, we moved. Can you make the connection for me? Right. <laughs> oh, well, I was here and then this. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. The clarifying questions is, right. I think, very helpful. <laughs> yes. I've learned clarifying questions as opposed to just sitting there being confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there are times too where he's speaking in logic and I want to know how he feels about something. And so I'll say, hey... I understand you're, you're saying this right now, but how are you feeling about that? And wow, that's a question that for a logic person, it's like, you know, I haven't thought that far ahead. I think I probably could have got through this entire thing without thinking how I feel at all. Mm -hmm. So she, it, it's a benefit. She really helps me to slow down and see the feelings part of it and get in touch with what I feel so I can understand, well, the facts. Am I painting them in a slightly angrier picture than is actually true in this situation? Sometimes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the cool thing about our different communication styles is we each bring something awesome to the table. So Adam allows us to think through things in a really logical manner, which allows us to process through things like budget and, you know, whether it be buying a house or lots of things like that. that I love me my spreadsheets. <laughs> yeah, he loves his spreadsheets. And so he's able to really bring value into making sure that we've thought about everything and that we're communicating on that level. Um, and Jess is great about making sure our house feels like a home, making sure we are not running too stressed or doing too much that we slow down, we take time to enjoy, we have the fun. Mm -hmm. And she brings that, that emotional stability that I, I'll go just wide open until I burn out. And she slows us down and makes sure we're okay there. Right. But we don't want to talk about <laughs> us too much other than to help you have an understanding of what it could look like and mm -hmm. something similar to compare your marriage to. Right. So the ultimate goal here is that we work together. We find a way to seek to understand our spouse. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much danger in communication if we just 
seek to be understood. Mm -hmm. Well, if I talk in more logic or if I talk louder, then you'll, you'll automatically understand me or vice versa. Right. If she talks in more emotion and gets more frustrated, more passionate, more passionate. Yes. That's, that's the good <laughs> word. More passionate that I will understand her. And it's just recognizing that, Hey, you know, as much as I would like to, that doesn't compute and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So we would encourage you to take some time this week and talk with your spouse about this. See if you can identify how you communicate and where you might be missing each other. Well, and what that communication dance is. Because mm -hmm. every couple is going to have a very unique communication dance in how they communicate, what that looks like, and, you know, kind of what that leads into. And so talk with each other. You know, how do you communicate? How does your spouse communicate? What are you doing well? And mm -hmm. what can you be doing better? And I think it's so important to really focus in on where our spouse makes the communication better mm -hmm. and not where it makes it worse. Now, right. we can talk with each other through those things and we need to, but our focus needs to be on what does my partner, what does my spouse bring to this relationship that we wouldn't have if they weren't there. Did you guys catch what just happened there? I talked about the logic and she talked about the emotion <laughs> and focusing on valuing them. I feel like that's just a perfect that's, example <laughs> and it was utterly unintended, but <laughs> gotta roll with it. That's true. So anyway, talk with your spouse this week and talk about your communication style and what that looks like. And that's all we have for today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. We are so blessed to have you here. And it's only because of people like you that we're able to have this content and to be able to continue producing content. Podcasts, blogs, videos, it's all mm -hmm. because of people like you who have chosen to partner with us. And if you would like to partner with us, pray about it and head over to patreon.com forward slash radiant marriage for more information. And we also want to share a uh, free resource we have with you. We've put together a 16 lesson course called Radiant Marriage Academy designed to really help you solidify and build your marriage into something that has the foundation to last. Right. And we'll have date nights on there for you, study guides, discussion questions, all to really gear towards helping you have a really awesome, solid marriage. And build that depth and intimacy. Mm -hmm. So um, you can find information about that at radiantmarriage.com along with our other content, blogs, podcasts, videos. And again, if you're interested in partnering with us to make more content like this possible, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash radiantmarriage. Thanks again for watching.